we will create pipeline that would pick up HL7v2 messages from S3 bucket and submit them into Amazon Health Lake. So, but before we do that, let's make sure we have our bucket. Here it is, I even created folders for errors and for inbound messages. And we have our health lake. Right, we have two data stores, we'll be using this one. So oh, let's get started. New transformation pipeline, we'll call it Anton Demo. We'll use existing credentials. Please refer to the documentation on how to create these credentials and what permissions to assign to them. Our S3 bucket is demo01, and we'll use in folder for inbound messages. We can test it right away, just to make sure that credentials do match our bucket, and they do. Uh, air bucket is actually optional, but I would highly recommend you to specify one. And we'll use the same existing credentials for Health Lake. And for Health Lake ID, we'll use one of these. And again, we can test it to make sure it works. Let's save it. You can see that the pipeline is already in the pending state. It takes around 20 seconds to for pipeline to become fully active. In the meantime, let's go to our S3 bucket and drop a few files uh, in there. Go into inbound folder. I have uh, exactly three HL7 messages that I will upload right here. As soon as upload is done, we can see these messages are disappearing from the folder. That probably means that pipeline is working and actively processing messages. Uh, let's take a look. Click on the pipeline and maybe we need to hit refresh once or twice. Here we go. We have three files being processed and 27 resources submitted into HealthLake. Let's make sure that data actually made it to the health lake. In the health lake, we can go to the data store and run query. Query type would be search with get, resource type patient. And we'll search patient by identifier. To figure out which identifier we're looking for, let's get back to our message. Uh, pick up one of them, right? And we know that the third element of PID segment is usually the patient ID. Right? So let's copy this guy and search for it. And we can see that indeed, patient from Cambridge, Massachusetts. named John Smith, is in our health link now. Go back to our files, it's indeed John Smith from Cambridge, Massachusetts. Let's try something else. Health link actually gives us a couple of helpful hints. And since patients with hypertensions, I don't think we have any hypertensive patients in this little set, but we definitely have patients with diabetes. Let's run this query. And indeed, we have a few documents that has diabetes mentioned in them, and Amazon Health Lake managed to find it for us. That's it. In less than five minutes, we created our own pipeline that would take data from our S3 bucket, let HealthShare Message Transformation Service to turn it into fire, and submit it into our own Amazon Health Lake. That's it. Thank you very much and hope to see you soon.